welcome to the Recovery 2.0 Move Beyond Addiction Conference. I'm your host, Tommy Rosen, and I am so pleased to be speaking with Gabrielle Bernstein once again. Gabrielle is the New York Times bestselling author of the book, May Cause Miracles, a 40-day guidebook of subtle shifts for radical change and unlimited happiness. She also authored Add More Ing to Your Life, A Hip Guide to Happiness, and Spirit Junkie, A Radical Road to Self-Love and Miracles. Her most recent book is Miracles Now, um, which, which offers 108 pathways to a miracle in your life. So definitely something that we're going to talk about uh, as well. For the past decade, Gabrielle has been on an international speaking circuit and has presented at Google, TEDx, Women, and the, and the WIE Symposium, to name but a few. She was featured on Oprah's Super Soul Sunday as a next generation thought leader, and she has a weekly radio show every Wednesday on Hay House Radio. Gabrielle, what can I say? It's just such a pleasure to have you back with Recovery 2.0. Welcome. Love being here. I love right. being with you. <laughs> I love being with you too. And it doesn't happen enough and uh, and too much here in the virtual world, but we'll we'll see if we can remedy that in the next year. Good idea, Tommy. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah. So so Gabby, can you can you share a little bit about what's been coming up um, in your work uh, with clients? What what are people sharing? What are you teaching these days? Well, uh, this year, 2014, in this past fall, I came up on nine years of recovery. Mm. So almost a decade. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Congratulations. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and, um, and for me, it's such a being anytime around my anniversary, it's a very uh, sentimental time for me. And it's a time when I can really take a moment and reflect on all that has occurred, all that has come, all that has transpired. And I and I feel very blessed to have this sort of, I love anniversaries. I love, but not, not necessarily other anniversaries. I'm not that sentimental a person, believe it or not. But I love my sober anniversary because it's such a, a big, big time of reflection. Mm -hmm. And and so I, I think this year I was really reflecting on, on how, wild it is that the promises in our life genuinely, genuinely come true. The promises that we were were gifted with in the 12 steps, they really have come true for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whenever I look back and whenever people say, you know, what is it that it took to get you to where you are, to be a teacher, to write a book or to to do really anything, to get married, to to get your body healthy everything comes down to my sober recovery, my sober recovery. And it's all rooted. That's the, my sober recovery is the roots to the tree that is growing. Mm -hmm. And so without the roots, the tree will stop growing. And so, so it's been, it's it, this time of year is a really neat time to just really honor the roots. And so that's been where I've been at. Mm -hmm. And, and I think as a result of that, I've, I've been called to, uh, unconsciously, I think, really, I don't think I realized it until now, actually, Tommy, that I've been called in the past several months to really speak up and speak loud and proudly about the gifts that we receive being on a spiritual path, whether we're in 12-step recovery, or we're on a spiritual path of a different kind, that there are great gifts that we receive. And I've been speaking up very loudly about owning our capacity to re and our receptivity mm -hmm. and owning our capacity to receive those gifts. Thank you so much. And and, and one reason I, I just want to ex express to the people who are watching uh, that when Gabby is talking about the, her recovery being the roots of the tree that she's growing, which is her life and her expression, um, people, people showed up in her life and in my life as examples of what was possible. That somewhere along the line, we had to see uh, victories. We had to actually see what a victory looked like. Um, yeah. Th does that make sense? Yeah. And I think that now, uh, as we step into our spiritual path, people that are watching this, someone like yourself, uh, we have to take that seriously. That now that anyone that's watching this that has been on a spiritual path and experiencing grace in their life as a result of their sobriety or their recovery, whatever it may be, has a responsibility to be that power of example for the newcomer in their world. Mm. And so to your point, we had these really great powers of example in our life and without them that we wouldn't be here. If everybody in, in recovery was walking around angry and pissed off and broke and sick and disgusting, we would have been like, well, why bother? 
Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now, now, uh, to that, to that end, there are a lot of people that have misunderstandings and who also hear a lot of negative press around the 12 steps. So I, I think it would be really neat as examples of what's possible, um, at least our own version of that. If we could actually look at what's possible here within 12 step recovery, what, what actually is being promised? Let's, yes, let's, we, we, we need to talk about the promises. Yes. Let's so, talk. <laughs> yes. We've got the promises. So, so this is actually, I think what really hooked me when I first came into AA was the promises. I was like, Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> right. And you read the promises at every meeting and it's this really not even a gentle reminder. It's a loud reminder of what is to come. And, and I love that they call it the promises. You know, that's bold, right? Like not like the good luck, this might happen if you do this kind of, but this is the promises. And, and I, and I really, really, really love that. And, and so I, I want to, I want to read the promises to anyone who's not familiar with them. And, and really let's just take this in because, and, and this is, this is the promises of Alcoholics Anonymous. But, you know, I think that they, that, that we can usually, we can genuinely say that this, these promises can come true for anyone on a spiritual path and and committed to a life of recovery and spirituality. Now, I I think that it's it's really the 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 promises of Alcoholics Anonymous because when you are in AA, you make a commitment to go through these twelve steps that are going to transform your life. Uh, but really, any steps that we take to transform our life will promise tremendous outcomes. <laughs> 